welcome back to my channel. Welcome to us driving off the curb. Welcome to today's video. I'm going to do a day in the life. I am in the car with Natalie. We are just on our way to have a quick breakfast at Greystoke Avenue in the cafe. Anthony's meeting us there. So breakfast en famille. And then I've got to go and pick up Josh. And we've got to go to Bath where I'm collecting a house clearance load of stuff from somebody. And then we're going to go have a date and eat. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. I'm on the evening dog walk, so all the um, all the usual exciting, thrilling bits will be in this vlog. But first, breakfast. Well, we are here waiting to pick up Josh. We were early. It's 10.02 now. Josh is late now, but we were early. And he should be out any second. Tick, 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 tick. Boom. He sent me a message saying, come in now. That was about five minutes ago. I mean, it's, it's not that Maybe big. It's not house. that big a house. Maybe he's in the West Wing. <laughs> <laughs> here he comes. You're wondering whether it's summer. Josh has not got his coat on, so it must be. Yes, for long sleeves, though. Long sleeves, always. Do you think he's a secret so far in there? <laughs> Good morning. Good We're vlogging. Oh, there's a book. What book have you got? Apparently, there's a book down there. The Ingo Chronicles. Oh, that's Nats, I think. Oh, yeah, it's Nats. Oh. Where the charity? Good morning, Joshy. Good morning. How are you? One eternity later. After sitting in endless traffic in Bath. What you got? I've got a big box of crafting stuff. Oh, cool. This is Sizzix. Sizzix dies and tools and crafting tools and stuff that I don't even recognize. Oh, steady on that. Stuff that I don't even recognize. And then there's ceramics. Ceramics. <laughs> I know you like a ceramic. <laughs> Do you need this clutch out, Natalie, before I block it in? There's lots of stuff. There's an A4 manual shape cutting and embossing machine. And there's lots of lovely dies and stamp things and all sorts in here. I've now ruined this. Oh God, I'm doomed. Come on, Mr. Chu. Play nicely. There we go. More goods arriving. Some oh, jugs that, for Andrea. That's Johnson Brothers. Johnson Brothers, yeah. Did you tell me what it was before I got it? That's Johnson Brothers, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's a good one. That is the spirally yeah. stuff. There is a name for it. Can't think of it. A little bit more crafting stuff. Natalie just brought out a cut and boss. Everything you need is in the box, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> it's a cutting machine. It's got a cut and boss machine. A Sizzix machine. Some breakables. Jugs for Andrea. It's a nice one. Yeah, this is all Johnson Brothers. Johnson Brothers has a very unique shape. Uh, there's a very nice kitty cat mug there. Fat cat, tall tabby, posh cat. Uh, by Tams. And then there you've got all of the... I knew you were going to resist looking at the ceramics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a 
Oh, stamp stamps. More ceramics. Up of Emma Bridge waters. Anchor bottle dish. Some more of those swirly pattern stuff. Oh, and here's Anna. Now, do you mind being in the vlog? Because Josh is videoing for my vlog, but didn't know how you would feel about it. Some people are like, oh no, I don't want me facing the internet. Ten times before at the Marks Book Fabric. Do you remember when I saw you at the door? I'm like, that's the lady I saw at the boot. So with this, I haven't I haven't cleaned up all the boxes for you because I thought I'll do a really cute little anchor butter dish. Lots of other new stuff has come out. These are all the fun bits. These do really quite well. So lots of the um, embossing folders. So these are the embossing folders. You just uh, lift them up, put some paper in it and press and it stamps it. Yeah, there's hundreds. All Christmassy. Are they all Christmassy? And there's some flowers. What else is in here? Dye brush foam pad cutter. Lacy stuff. What is this? Metal adapter mat. Ooh. I have no idea what here this is. Some die cuts. Ah, these are the die cuts of the machine, so that will cut a specific um, shaped thing. Some lace details. Yeah, here are the die cuts, for example. So if you put that through one of the machines, it will cut that out of the um, paper or emboss it, I think. And there's hundreds of these. What was that one? Uh, some lions playing. That's a sweet one. Japanese voting scene. So, Japanese lanterns. Japanese lady. So yeah, it's just a nice mixture of stuff for the machines. And then let's just come out some uh, Nigella Lawson cookware. Which has some weird egg shaped bowls, which I've never understood. Yeah, these are all egg-shaped, like overly shaped. I don't know why that's her thing. Um, there's some bowls, some plates, and some other bits. We've made it to eight. That's just pointed out we've been in the car long enough to fly to Spain. <laughs> the length of time that we've been in the vehicle, we could have flown to Spain. We could have just flown further than Spain, I think. Yeah, but we've made it to eight finally. It's right around the world's most complicated detours. And we're going to go to Spoons for lunch. Josh is excited. Even cheap, though, cheap. even though they've increased the price yeah, of your, pound. How dare they? they've increased the price of his lunch. He's outraged. Oh, Show me your outraged I'm face. Be a tower and write a <laughs> lunch has arrived. I have got chicken breast with jacket potato, roasted vegetables, and a salad. Matt's got garlic bread, I think, and chicken. Garlic bread and chicken. Josh has got a pizza and nachos because they buggered up his three for whatever it is deal. Are you happy now? <laughs> He was very, very sad in the car. He was dying of hunger. <laughs> Josh is in the uh, in the pop-up PVSA shop. Got a few bits. Of a, got a few bits in my bag here, but um, they will go into my charity shop compilation video. So I won't be showing those in this. But that will come out soon as well. Cause I think that's nearly nearly long enough to be dull, as I always say in that one. So yeah, Natalie's gone off around the shop. She's not much into charity shop, and she'll come with us at a push. But she's gone off around the clothes shops because it's her, her payday today. So she's gonna have to find herself something in the clothes shop. Josh is in the pop-up shop looking at horrible breakables. And uh, 
I'm enjoying a bit of sun with nice lunch. Okay, so yours clothing next, which is just down there. And um, take like a pair of trousers that I bought. Last time I came to Yate with Tammy, I bought a pair of blue trousers. And they're sort of three quarter length, but they're wide legged. So they look a bit like skirt when we've got them on, which I thought would be fine for the job I was in at the time. Now I'm not in that job, they're, they're no good for the current job. And I don't think I'll wear them. So they've still got the tags on, so I'll see. So I'm going to take those into yours clothing and exchange them for something that I will wear. And uh, I think we've got a couple of, sorry, fly, a couple more charity shops to do. Have we had a lovely day, children? Yeah, Mum. <laughs> By the time we got to Spoons, we were all a little bit peckish, I think. But yeah, we've had a nice day. Nat's done her payday shopping and spent sixpence, so that's her skin. And now we've got to take Josh home. Got to negotiate my way out of this car park without killing anybody. home and drop that at work and then I've got to go home and get all that stuff into the house that's now in the boot and oh what the dogs Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fire And I know it is just my 
my time now. I'm gonna... Well, that's Josh dropped off. Next drop off is you. Yes. Yes. Off cliff. Off cliff. Okay, I'm home. Anthony's helped me take some of the stuff upstairs already. There's still some more to go up. But also this front room is minging. So my next thing is to do just a quick blast clean throughout downstairs. It's not just the front room that's a state. The kitchen is also pretty bad. So Anthony's just emptying the dishwasher. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to just have a quick whiz through and make downstairs a bit more presentable before I work and have a look at all of this and I'll show you guys what I've got. Okay, I have vacuumed in here. I have changed the cover on one couch. I've not yet changed the cover on the other couch because this stuff needs to go upstairs. I am melting. I'm going to take five minutes to cool down and then carry on. So I did say that I would show you what I picked up this morning from from Bath. I'm at breath, so I just carried a box upstairs. Bear with. Let me put you on the holder. <laughs> Stop wobbling. So, um, the trip to Bath. I was contacted by one of you guys, by a viewer, and I've met this lady once before at Mark's Picard Boot. But I didn't realise that until I saw her again today. And I thought, oh, she. And basically she was having to clear out her parents' house. She's very sadly lost both parents uh, just before Christmas. Out of breath. House is up for sale. She was clearing it out and she contacted me and said, did I want to buy a load of stuff? And we talked about what the stuff was and I said, yes, I would. And she told me her price and I paid it. No, no, no haggling, nothing like that. And this is what I picked up. So, firstly, there is a set of Nigella Lawson Living Kitchen measuring cups, all four in the box. Um, she says she doesn't know whether her mum had actually used the stuff or not. Yeah, the fact that it was in the box doesn't have to mean it's having used. Some people put them back in the box to keep them. But nice to have those in the box. And then also, oh, bear with, that's heavy. Yeah. I put these into this box and I'm not convinced they're meant to be there. This box says mixing bowl set of four, and I don't know if those are a mixing bowl set. Oh yeah, they are. So, Nigella mixing bowls, the big oval ones, set of four. Weigh a ton. <laughs> and then we've also got Nigella cups. Set of three serving platters. They're the egg-shaped serving platters. And then there are two sauces in there that go with the cups. So that was the Nigella stuff. And then in the other boxes, there is, this is Johnson Brothers. Um, Josh looked at this morning and told me, I think, he, I think he said it's called Regency. So there is a lid to go with that, obviously teapot. And I've also got um, cups that go with, saucers, gravy boat. But then there's another, is that the lid? Or, yeah, that's the lid. There's another Johnson Brothers range. I'm pretty sure this is Johnson Brothers as well. And it's kind of um, the fruit and grapes design. So I need to find out which one that is. Oh, this is, it says quad, 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 quadrifoglio. <laughs> Just murdered that. So that's Italian. That's not Johnson Brothers. Quad, quadrifoglio. <laughs> and then also two Emma Bridgewater song thrush mugs. There's an anchor butter dish in here. I had one of these for sale not long ago. I can't remember whether I sold it or not. If I haven't, then it'll be an easy relist. So there's bowls and plates for the quadrifloglog, flog, log, 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 logs. There's a fruit dish. Now this is rayware, so that's a slightly different design. And then there's a little set of this one as well. And I've got milk jug, butter dish. I thought there was something else, but I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I did that. And then cups and saucers to go with the Regency and some plates. That's very loud. And then I'm going to take you off of the holder. Hang on. And then the other part of the pickup was this. So I've got a Sizzix Big Shot cutting machine, a Teresa Collins cut and boss, and then an enormous, absolutely enormous stash of cutting dies that you use with the Sizzix Big Shot. Absolutely massive amount of those. It's a fabulous, fabulous pickup for the price that I paid the lady. Um, 
I don't need to tell you guys what I paid her, but suffice to say, I didn't argue. She told me her price and I said, absolutely, that's fine. So I'm chuffed a bit. So I want to say thank you so much, Anna. I'm sure she'll watch. Thank you so much, Anna. It was lovely to see you again. Um, I really hope everything goes well with the sale of the house. As I said to you this morning, I'm so sorry that you're having to go through this and that, and that you've lost your parents, but I hope everything goes well and smoothly. And I really appreciate you thinking of me for the, for the stuff that you wanted to move on. Now... I need to find somewhere to put it all and I really need to start working through the dies. I need to start working through. I think I'm going to sell those in bundles because there's a huge, huge amount of them. I think I'm going to bundle them up into into types, into like, into into makers and, and sell them as bundles, maybe six or ten or whatever in a bundle. I think that's going to be the best way to do that. They're incredibly heavy um, as a as a job lot. They're far too heavy to post. So I think breaking them down is going to be the way forward. And then all this ceramic stuff needs to be listed as well. I'm going to be very busy because... Can you guys see the death pile from there? I don't think you can. I think it's, yeah, see here, this here, that's the corner of the death pile peeping out. You can't see it. It's bloody huge. <laughs> and I keep buying. So yeah, that's that was why we went to Bath today. And I've also got stuff that I bought in the um, charity shops today because I can't stop buying stuff. So I'm going to add that to my charity shop video next. Then I'm going to write with the dogs. That was brief buddy's gone home already <laughs> he comes out does his business turns around and goes home and anthony literally waits outside the house watches him come down the road job done <laughs> he's just not interested in going for an evening walk at all ever he wants to come out and do what needs to be done he doesn't want to get any exercise morning walk totally different dog morning walk he's quite happy talking about so it's just me and the big two now so we're going to go up the top field it is Flying ant day, and uh, I'm trying not to inhale too many flying ants because you. Yeah, me and these two are going to go at the top field and have a walk around. It's about half past seven now. Left it a bit later because it was warm earlier. We'll have a wander, and then I need to go back and find myself something to eat. There's a couple of hot air balloons up, just there in the distance. They sometimes come down either on this field or on the bower field, but I think it must depend which way the wind's going because they're definitely going off in the other direction tonight. And there only seems to be two. Sometimes there's quite a clutch that go up. We are back from our walk. We bumped into Ada. Ada is on heat or in season or whatever the phrase is. Kai doesn't have all of the equipment necessary to, to take advantage of that. that didn't bother and didn't stop in trying which is why he's now extremely out of breath. He's 12, he's too old for all of that. Apparently he doesn't know that. I'm gonna make myself some dinner, sanity bits, a couple of chicken skewers, sit in the garden to eat that because it's still nice and warm. And um, I've got to pick that back up for work in a bit because she um, didn't take her scooter today because I dropped her off and her knee's bad so she can't walk home. So yeah, that's, uh, oh, ring me mother, ring me mother as well.
Right. That's me done for the day. I've just picked up that from work. We're going to watch a couple of episodes of Two Broke Girls. I need to try and stay awake for that. I fell asleep last night. <laughs> a couple of episodes of that. And that's me done. It's 20 past nine, so it's not particularly late night, but I've had a few late nights recently, so it did me good to have a, an early one. I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.